Good evening and welcome to the Daily News Roundup with Daily Mirror Online. You're with me, Bhakti Abe Surya. Let's take a look at our headlines. 60 pregnant mothers and 89 children died so far due to COVID-19. Government must encourage people to buy electric vehicles. Elderly women robbed during visits to Colombo Eye Hospital. Sri Lanka to reject the latest ship carrying LP gas. New BOI chairman appointed. No power cuts from today. Now diving into those stories in detail. Family Health Bureau Director Dr. Chitramali De Silva stated yesterday that about 60 pregnant mothers and 89 children below 18 years of age have so far succumbed to COVID-19. Addressing a news briefing at the Health Promotion Bureau, she stated that all the deaths of pregnant mothers were in the third wave. The Vehicle Importers Association of Sri Lanka is requesting the government to encourage people to buy electric vehicles. They said the future of vehicles will use electricity as an energy source. Two elderly women who happened to be sisters who had come to seek medical assistance at the Colombo Eye Hospital have been robbed by a man who had promised to introduce them to an eye specialist. Two sisters, residents of Vaga in Padukka, had come to seek medical treatment and said the earrings they were wearing were robbed by a man who had tricked them. The latest ship that arrived in Colombo with LP Gas Politro Company does not comply with the required level of ethyl mercaptan and because of that, the authorities are considering to reject the stock. However, the technical committee was scheduled to meet this morning to take a final decision in this regard. President Gotabe Rajapaksha has appointed Raja Edrisuria as the new chairman of the Board of Investments of Sri Lanka. The entire director board of the BOI, including the chairman, recently stepped down from their positions. Ceylon Electricity Board General Manager Emma Ranatunga stated that no power cuts will be experienced from today as the Norochole coal power plant is fully functional now. He also stated that the power plant is supplying 300 megawatts of operations at full capacity. Therefore, there is no need to have any power cuts other than sudden breakdowns. For further details on the stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Bhakti Abe Surya and this is the Daily News Roundup.